Hi everyone, Comic Reviewer here, this time reviewing on Teen Titans New 52 issue number 2 comic review. Now, as you know, this the storyline was by basically mixing heroes and Teen Titans, and the cover we've got is Tim Drake and Cassie Sandmarks being covered in webs by Skicker who is also meant to have a twin sister, and is also, are also meant to be the daughters of Amanda Warrer. But since DC Rebirth has shown up, it's unknown if they're still canon or not. So it starts off how Bart Allen is in his cell, talking to someone we don't know about. And Cassie's having a meal with Tim Drake, saying, Yo, up here, and before you ask, yes, they're real. And he says... And Tim states that he's not looking at them and says, I was trying to figure out how those wall bracelets you wearing are invisible. Right. No idea. When I pinched them from the t that temple, I left behind the stone tablet instructions. So Tim Drake leaves some money as a tip and says, quite the tip you're leaving. If you're trying to impress me by tossing cash around, it's not working. I can afford to be generous. It's not my money. Which implies that Bully Swain has been giving him the money. And Tim Drake points out about Noah's organization. And how they basically are kidnapping children and other teenagers. Which is a lot like the Hive from Season 2 and a bit of a Young Justice storyline. So Cassie offers Tim Drake to stay at her house. Which is impliedly set in Halloween. Meanwhile, in Nowhere Headquarters, Superboy is being trained and being let to know about the other superheroes. One of the scientists points out that he might kill someone, and Tembler's like, I can live with that. So af after that, Cassie gives Tim Drake and Nat some pillows and some bed sheets. And says that he's a good guy. And he's like, good guy? Great. Just when I was going for me, missed annoying kid brother by that much. The next day, doing some research, he sees a woman called Claudia. And decides to do some investigation. And looking around the store in disappointment. Claudia shows up saying, welcome to Wear It Well. My name is Claudia. Can I help you find something? I hope so. I'm looking for the truth. Do you know, do you have anything in my size? And says that he knows he's lying and knows about Skicker. So she says that she's got break and that she'll meet him by the fountain in five minutes. So after a while, Tim Drake points out that he point out all the obvious hints, clues and that. And that he knows she's lying. But Claudia points out that her sister Celine has been developing these metahuman powers and had tried to call Star Labs, but she left. And even, like, started blogging about her and calling her Skicker, thinking it would have been a cute name and not people got worried. But she said that she already called the government and Tim Drake knows where this is going to lead to. So you're introduced to a kind of hunter-like character who keeps talking in we and I and everything else, much like Venom. And Tim Drake confronts him, voicing his disapproval, and turns out he actually has brothers who are teleporters. So, after getting put up a fair fight, Tim Drake manages to beat them down. And the two brothers teleport away to help their other brothers. And just as he goes in to investigate, we're introduced to Skicker, which is a Spider-Woman hybrid. And this is basically Skicker, and after Tim Drake tries to talk with her, she ends up blasting him with spider goop, saying, Okay, that is just gross. Celine, don't make me hurt you. So, Wonder Girl shows up to show up in action, and after knocking down Skicker, Wonder Girl leaves, saying that she still owes him for helping, and Tim Drake is left alone with Skicker. So, after the two henchmen take care of Bart Allen, Bart Allen points out all their faults about letting him go, and after a while, sees a cell for Sorens, who is meant to be from the pre point universe for the last few comics, but they brought her back, and saying, please help me. And yeah, this is the story. 
So issue 2 feels good. It's a good entry to new members. It deserves a thumbs up. Still good and still alright. So, comic reviewer here, signing out.